Never stay on the sideline too long, especially if it's due to a lack of knowledge. What's going on everybody? My name is Salem Sini and welcome to my YouTube channel. I usually focus on two things, faith and entrepreneurship. My goal is to help people like you be more motivated, discover your purpose and understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. So one of the things that is interesting is I like talking a lot about financial literacy. Financial literacy means becoming knowledgeable about money, about things that surround money, and about how you can use money and not having money taking advantage of you. The knowledge, which is really the highest form of wealth, to be able to generate, produce more money, and not let your life be controlled by debt, stress, and things that come with that. I think the first key is knowledge. So today, as part of our financial literacy endeavor and this journey that we're on, let's talk about cryptocurrency is kind of disrupting the market right now you've heard about this uh if you're an entrepreneur or business world you've heard you've seen some even big shakers and movers have their opinions on it and uh, i want to give just kind of like a higher level and this video is more targeted to um whether you should go in or go out of it should you take a look at it should you just you know forget about it and focus on other things uh, I just want to first say, big disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, these opinions are my own based on personal experience, things I've seen others and some of my mentors have told me. Don't take this as uh, ad investing advice. So go and consult with a professional or um, some kind of legal advice and account. Some of that would tell you to do. And I'll also, when it comes to investing, just know uh, investing is risky. So only invest what you're willing to lose. Right. So because the investing game, whether you don't stock, uh, cryptocurrency is basically the same thing. So that being said, for those of you guys who do not know, I'm not necessarily going to talk about the description of cryptocurrency because that could become very technical, which I don't want to spend too much time on that. There's great videos that really talk about that. I'll put some links in the description of people who describe it quite well. Uh, but today, for those of you guys who are really informed or at least have been looking at it from the sideline for a little bit, which was kind of like the same thing for me, for some time I was kind of like skeptical a little bit because I didn't quite understand it, which I, is something that I often talk about here is that don't try to jump too quickly into something you do not understand. And that being said, if you feel there's a potential, there's something in you that keeps you know, pushing you towards that thing, then it's then your job to try to understand as much as you can, right? Don't use the fact that you do not know something or you don't understand it as an excuse to uh, remain on the sideline forever. Like that's never my case. Like, I mean, I know something, I'm not gonna rush into it. But guess what I do in the background? I learn. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to get information. So I've sat down with the individuals. I sat down with a friend of mine that really, um, you know, got into it. She had told me about this before. I just, you know, wasn't paying attention. I saw some things online. I was like, okay, then we got a conversation. Sat down with another gentleman. Sat down with people. In, like, and the thing with me is after reading and watching YouTube videos, I like to get one-on-one -on -one information. So after I did that, uh, I decided, okay, that's something to, to at least try and understand. So this is the first advice I would tell you. Watch videos on YouTube. There's a lot of plenty of free information on that. There's great articles that have been written, even by you know reputable publications. Read from both sides. There are people who are uh, pro-cryptocurrency. They really think it's the wave of the future. There are people who are quite skeptical and think it's too early, it's uh, not regulated, is you know, because of the the, the, side, the fact that it's decentralized, it's, it's kind of iffy, right? So depending on wherever you find yourself in that spectrum, you make the choice, right? Are you willing to, to try something that is new, you know, that has not been really, you know, uh, tested out and things like that? Or are you just going to go to something that is more uh, known, more established, more regulated? Uh, with both sides comes the pros and the cons, right? The pros of something like cryptocurrency is because because it's new, there's also what we call first mover's advantage, right? Because if you jump in really early and it works, you have the potential, especially for investors, if you put a lot of money at the beginning, you have a potential to like double, triple, 
10x, even 100x your investment, which is crazy. And the thing with cryptocurrency, it moves so fast that you're able to do it in a crazy amount. To give you an idea, the value of cryptocurrency, like one of the most well-known Bitcoin last year was around like uh, $3,000 or so. And uh, I think by the end of 2017, so the beginning of 2017 was around like that price by the end, it was close to $20,000. Right. So think about that as like three, four X uh, its amount like it's, it was really like mind boggling stuff. Uh, and if you had invested a lot of money, it would be crazy. There even are some coins which are alternative coins, uh, other basically cryptocurrencies, because beside the Bitcoin uh, currency like Bitcoin, which you've probably heard of, there are Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, Coinbase, like um, I mean, not Coinbase. Um, uh, Bitcoin Cash, many other Coinbase is where it's a platform where you buy some of the the cryptocurrency. So uh, they they tripled, right? So that's because of the people who move really early on. Uh, there there's there's a lot of crazy values. I mean, if you got into cryptocurrency in 2010 or 2011, 2012, 14, like if you had bought, for example, like one Bitcoin, which at the time was maybe like seven hundred dollars or something like that today think about that right now the value of it i think is around ten thousand dollars so if you had bought that i like let's say 500 bucks you and it would be crazy right let's say if you bought just 10 of it crazy amount right now it's like ten thousand dollars for one it's crazy so that's that's the first mover's advantage people are saying that the, it can still grow uh especially a lot of the alternative coins which are referred to as altcoin uh those have the potential to grow you know uh because you know the the market valuation is it's not as high as bitcoin because bitcoin is really high so that's another thing right i would say i had to study when i saw that i was like okay let me find out more let me let, let me figure out let me not remain uh ignorant about these things which is something i'll encourage you never stay on the sideline too long especially if it's due to a lack of knowledge right so trying to learn as much and if based on the knowledge you've learned and you're like it reinforces the hesitation you had then so now you're at peace you're like okay so i looked at it and this is not really what i wanted to do peace now you can walk away feeling confident but if you're just you know missing out because you don't want to learn or you don't want to inform yourself that is not a smart decision that is not a wise move on your part so very important so again one of the pros first move is advantage um the cons of that is because the idea of cryptocurrency is that it's decentralized meaning that what the currency we have right now which is referred to as fiat cat uh, fiat uh currency or cash um that is whether it is you know paper assets like you know actually cash that you use or stuff like that those type of assets um they're centralized so those banks like for example we have the federal reserve in america that produces money um so they centralize they give the money to uh what you, the states uh federal reserves that gives it to the banks and you know your the, your local bank gets money so it comes from a centralized unit they know how much money is given and stuff like that they control for example how much money is in your account the transaction everything you know they, they they manage all those different things uh the the thing that is kind of interesting with cryptocurrency is that there's no central entity right so you can own your money and nobody knows how much money you have right a cryptocurrency basically you can hold it into what they call a crypto wallet which is basically a virtual wallet that you have the keys to that particular wallet. like you know how you would have a physical wallet right hold on i think i have my wallet on me here i can use that as a prop <laughs> so you have a wallet um actually this is a great wallet i've used this for a while so you might have a, a wallet like a physical wallet like this one and a virtual wallet is the same thing something that you possess and there's basically like a password or something like that which they call keys to your wallet you can also have a physical wallet in terms of a usb because everything is electronic it's all information based so uh you basically keep your money and you can give money to someone without going through a bank you know what I mean? Like, for example, if I wanted to send money to my cousin in the UK right now, I would have to go to my bank and my bank would have to send it to a, a international exchange rate bank. And then that bank would send it to my cousin's bank. And then my cousin would then get it from his bank. Right. So it goes to like three different banks before the money gets to him. If I wanted to send him cryptocurrency right now, I would just get his address. Right. 
uh, which is, I mean, what is called an, a, a receiver sender's address is basically a bunch of numbers. Uh, you, I take that address and I send it to him and it, it arrives to him directly, right? Sometimes it's instantaneous, takes seconds, sometimes it takes a couple of minutes, depending on which currency you're sending. So that in its essence is one of the alluring thing about cryptocurrency because it's decentralized. But because of the reason it's so decentralized, there's less regulation because people are not regulated because I don't know how much money you have. Like who knows how much money you have? Right. This is like one of those dream of like having less uh, government oversight on people's currency. Like and because of that, for example, uh, it's hard to know, like how much money you can pay on taxes with that. Like people can can have that much money stored in a particular place that they would not have to declare. Right. You wouldn't have to declare that this is the money um, that you're making. So I'm saying all this. For you to come to an understanding that those are the pros and the cons. There are also pros and cons in more of the traditional stuff that we know about investing. So, you know, it's all for you to understand what are some of those those different things. The the, the thing with uh, cryptocurrency that a lot of people are also hesitant about is because it's so volatile, because it's so new, because people get excited, because people don't really understand investing and they want the quick return. People would come in, dump a lot of money in the market, and then they hear something in the news of like, okay, cryptocurrency is about to get banned in this country because people don't like the way it moves. Like there was some news from South, uh, I think like South Korea or some Eastern Asian country where uh, they were thinking that you know cryptocurrency was going to be banned out of China. Some states in America have banned certain cryptocurrencies. So that obviously plays with investors' emotions. When you feel like that, it moves the market really volatilely. Or some people really remove the money out of the market, so it tanks the value of certain cryptocurrencies. So the, the market right now could be going from 20000 to 10000 for example, as the shooting of this video, that's the case for Bitcoin. It was at almost 20,000 at one time, now it's at 10,000. So imagine some people have lost crazy amount of money. But I believe such is investing, right? That's investing, that's the risk you take, especially when you're an early adopter. So um, all that being said, here's my advice. Here's why I, I would end with this. The number one thing you should do is learn. Get yourself familiar with this. What is cryptocurrency? Read articles about this, right? I was trying to put some link in the description of things you can go, resources that can really help you about this. Get informed. Like, you know, what is it all about? Do you believe that this is the future? I personally believe so. I personally believe that uh, our financial and monetary system, our, our way of valuating a currency is going to be disrupted. It's one of the things that has to be disrupted because it's remained the same for so long and the same players have always won, right? So technology now is just gonna disrupt all that. And blockchain really is the future. I've read, I've listened to so many talks about blockchain, people talking about it, but I didn't quite understand the concept until I really took time to learn, right? So understanding, I think it's the way of the future. I don't think we're going back to, nowadays most people don't even use cash. Think about that, right? Uh, from like Apple Pay to Samsung Pay to Google Pay, uh, you are able to pay directly from your phone. So now think that with cryptocurrency, it's all digital. The fact that you can pay for your phone and things like that, I believe that's the future. That's the way we're moving forward. So I believe in cryptocurrency. I still believe that there still needs to be more regulation because it's like the wild, wild west out there. Like people do a lot of pump and dump. And if you don't know what that means, don't worry about that. It's just basically people are trying to manipulate the market and that's illegal, that's wrong. So a lot of people have had lawsuits against them. People have been arrested. So, but that's, that's, that's kind of like the reality of investing really. When you enter into a new market, something that is new, a lot of people are trying to take advantage of the system. Some people don't quite understand it. So such as that. So take time, first of all, to learn. And then this is the next step. Uh, here's one thing I like to say to people, don't learn forever, right? Like don't have this uh, analysis paralysis because you've read so many different things on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and altcoins and you've read all these different things about um, these gurus of cryptocurrency. Here's what I would tell you, right? Find the basics and invest a little bit of money. Again, these are things that you're willing to lose. Why? To test the market, right? Remember again, this is not uh, investing advice for you personally. This is what I did. I took a little bit of money uh, and put it in just to see how it works. I wanted to understand the whole system. How do I actually get cryptocurrency? How do we make sure, do I own it? How does it feel? What does it look like, right? So what I did to give you a plain idea, I went to, I created a Coinbase account. Coinbase is basically a marketplace where you can 
get introduced to cryptocurrency. That's where most people get uh, introduced to cryptocurrency. And it's called Coinbase. You can go to coinbase.com. Basically, from there, you link it to your bank account. You can transfer the money from your bank account. You can do a wire transfer or you can do it from your debit or credit card. But doing that, you put money into your Coinbase account. You can buy, uh, I think, a... It carries a limited amount of coins right now. So I think you can get Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Coin, Bitcoin Cash, I think you can get there. Uh, there may be others that I do not know. It may be it changes as, you know, by the time you watch this video, they might be, you know, having a lot more coins that you can buy, you know, cryptocurrency that you can buy there. So once you buy that, you can hold, you can hold how much you bought. Like for example, if you bought like a couple of Bitcoin or a couple of Ethereum, you can hold and just watch the volatility of the market if bitcoin and ethereum go up which is good that means you've made money then you can you know withdraw that money and turn it back into fiat which is cash into your bank account which is you so that's basically the same thing as like stock market right as it increases you make more money you make dividends out of that you know and you put that in there so that is you know one way of looking at that that i was uh you no know, as i'm studying the market that's that's the way i'm looking at the market um so that has been like the way I've been approaching all of this. Um, to look at it that way is it's kind of like the really the best way to move forward with that, I, I would say. Um, so there's that. And the next thing I would say also that is really important is uh, once you, you put that, also invest into alternative coins or altcoin. Altcoin are smaller currencies. Bitcoin, Ethereum are the big currencies. Those are worth thousands of dollars per coin and then there are much cheaper coins that could be you can buy them for pennies right uh, you can buy some of them for you know a few dollars some few hundred dollars and depending on what you believe in the value of the coin why the coin was made who is the company behind the coin what's the purpose of that coin that's things that you have to study again watch a lot of videos about that you'll get knowledgeable and then you would buy some of those coins invest in some of those coins in other words and just hold you either hold or you would trade them you know whether you want to be a string a swing trader whether you're going to hold or you're going to be a swing trader right uh the perspective i would advise you the perspective that i took was the perspective that i took was long term right so now i'm not just buying this for okay i'm gonna trade them tomorrow because i'm so anxious now like as a, an investor your bro is how can you become more sophisticated more knowledgeable about the investing game even in crypto right so if you believe in something you hold while the market shakes up and down for so long you just hold because you believe that this is really going to be the way it goes like i believe is that's going to be the future so that's important for you to think about it that way right so you don't get confused so you don't know what to do invest a little bit of money and then move from there for me uh i know i started with you know it's really really tiny investment right like literally like i was trying to actually i was trying to put 50 bucks in just to see how it was going to work and then i realized there's like fees a transactional fee to get it from your bank account to the coinbase to the coinbase to an exchange uh, uh platform and then i realized okay by the time i was going to get to the exchange platform to buy the altcoins it was going to be nothing right so i started with a little bit higher amount of that but it was still money that i'm willing to lose right and i put that in there and let the market do its thing do your research learn right remember knowledge is the first form of wealth right what you're knowledgeable about will create other forms of wealth for you but power is really applied knowledge so with what you've learned put it into applications start with something small you got to learn how to crawl before you can walk and you have to learn how to walk before you can run and you have to learn how to run before you can fly getting more acclimated about financial literacy in general that is that's the liberating factor right very very important um that is all for me today i hope this video was uh, valuable to you if it was give this video a thumbs up and also share it to one or two people who can also create and gain a lot of value from this video that's all for me today remember you're God's very best. And I'll see you next time. Take care.